Hey guys, my name is Funky Flair. Welcome back to my channel and the channel's first ever vlog. So, if vlogs are not your thing, then I will see you in the next video. Right, is anyone left? Anyone? Just me. Okay. So, um, right, to business. I just um, wanted to make kind of an update for everyone. Uh, a little bit of what's going on with the channel, what I'm gonna do moving forward, and um, why have I not been around for the last few months? Where have I been? Why have I been? Why have I been? Why have I been kind of AWOL from YouTube? So essentially, um, I got a job. That's what happened. That's the reason I've not been around, or probably more accurately, that's the excuse. So that's what I've been telling myself, is that, you know, I've had a job, it's far too much. How can anyone possibly do both? Because it's not like a whole bunch of people don't manage to do both at the same time. So I got a job, um, whereas before I'd actually been taking a break from working, which was nice. But uh, before that, I had a different job and I used to do a whole bunch of other stuff at the same time. I used to do loads of hobbies and just a bunch of different crap. So I kind of told myself, ah, oh, it'll be fine. I've done worse than this. You know, no big deal. What am I even worried about? And then it became really easy to not record. So uh, the problem that I had because uh, I've had some time to reflect. Um, I had a bit of time off from work and went to see family. So I had a kind of bit of time to sit down and think about what I wanted my YouTube channel to be and why I wasn't recording anymore and what excuses had led me to thinking that I should just, you know, put it off and why I hadn't sorted it out before now. So the reason I kind of came to is a really stupid one. It's <laughs> that I kept putting it off when I had a job because I wanted it to look perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Pingu. Pingu's laughing at me. Pingu's my cat. She's one of my cats. Um, and I know that does sound ridiculous because, you know, <laughs> I'm not great at YouTube. There's a whole bunch of people who are better at it than me and saying that I wanted my videos to be perfect sounds kind of ridiculous because they weren't anyway. But I got kind of obsessed about wanting to make sure that for the things within my power that these videos would be as good as they could be and that every video that I made was a progression on the last one that had to be better in some way, whatever way that was, than the previous. And I kind of, without even realizing it, focused a lot too much on that. So days that I felt really tired, I didn't record. Every time I thought I looked crap, I didn't record. Every time I was even mildly sick, I didn't record. If I was in a bad mood, I didn't record. So when I got a job and those bad days became more often, you know, days when I was perfectly able to do normal life things, I wouldn't record because I could do better on another day. So everything got procrastinated all the time. And I realized that, you know, that's not really what I want my channel to be. You know, there are YouTubers who have very polished channels and do a great job and their channels are like TV, you know, they're, they're a substitute for TV. So you have news channels which have, you know, really swish studios and scripts and the whole, the whole lot. Even if I could do that, that's not what I want for my channel. I want my channel to be more like the channels that I love on YouTube. I want it to be a space for people to just hang out and play a video game, you know? And it is just me in my living room and we'll just have a giggle at a video game, you know? So if you're having a great day, then we can just hang out. And if you're having a terrible day, then we can just hang out. And you know, it's just just real life. I'm, I'm just a girl who sits in her living room and, you know, 
changes it into some kind of terrible setup with things balanced on books and stuff to get it to work. And <laughs> I don't want it to sound like I'm just going to upload garbage. You know, I don't want it to sound like everything's just going to be crap from here on out and I'm just going to record something, not edit it, not, not proof, proof watch it and just upload it and that's fine, whatever, you know, no big deal. That's, that's not what I want. I want it to still be good-ish, kind of, but I don't want to obsess over the fact that everything has to be a certain way before I record, you know? And I, I just, I don't want it to, I want it to still stay as you and me hanging out and playing a video game. And I, <laughs> I keep saying that, but that is what I want it to be. And I, that's what I want it, how I want it to feel is like, if you came to my house and sat down on my couch and we played a video game, that's kind of how I am. And, you know, I mean, I would talk a bit less if you were actually here, but this is kind of a commentary thing and I wouldn't actually talk that much less. You would be surprised. So I just need to kind of cut back on the excuses for not recording, basically, is the bottom line. I need to be more strict with myself about recording anyway, just because why not? And but also cut myself some more slack about not having to be in the best mood and feeling absolutely perfect and slather my face with makeup if I'm not wearing makeup that day. I think, it, so it's this weird kind of balance, I guess. And I know that this is probably gonna seem just like, you know, oh, meals for a solution, do more YouTube. And I mean, I, I don't like New Year's resolutions because I think by their nature, most of the time people don't keep them past March, really. But it was more that I had the break over Christmas and kind of got to take a step back and I wasn't at work and just kind of think about what did I want. And I, I do want to record again. I miss recording. I enjoy it. It's, it's something that was fun and I really liked interacting with all of you guys you know I I liked reaching new people and I miss that and I do want it but I also want it to be consistent I want to be able to look back at the end of the year and think I couldn't have done more for my channel you know I recorded however many times a week that it's gonna be and I did that all the time you know that was that was what I achieved was the consistency because I think I kind of can be a bit bad at following through on plans sometimes so that's the main goal is the consistency and I'm currently working on my plan of how often do I want to record and how and, and what what days am I going to record what days am I going to upload um, what days am I going to edit and really plan it out for myself so that there's a structure and I was going to finish the plan and then do this video but then that was procrastinating making this video because I was telling myself I didn't have time to plan so now that this video is going to be uploaded the reason I'm making a video out of it as well, I I don't want to sound self-important. I don't want to I don't want it to seem like, oh, you know, I have such a bit I have such a community of so many people that they've all just been crying out to find out where I've been for the last few months, which is not the case. But as I said, I like seeing these things from the YouTubers I watch. I think it's a good way of keeping communication open and a good way of reinforcing that, you know, me and you are just internet friends. We're just internet buddies, you know, and that I am a real person. Um, but it also means that once this is uploaded, this is not just a promise I'm making myself. It's a, prom it's a public promise that I'm making myself. So that's gonna push me to achieve it, to, to get these things in motion, to get everything planned, to get the consistency on track. 
So that's what I'm looking forward to. And also slightly terrified by. <laughs> I think that's pretty much everything. I guess. <laughs> oh god, it's so hard. I'm not used to doing vlogs and I feel like I'm gonna sit down and watch this and go, oh my god, I seem like a pillock and I didn't actually say anything that I wanted to say and nothing got done and I'm just not gonna upload it. But I'm going to. I'm going to. This will be uploaded. And um, I have a list of games that I want to play and obviously I'm going to continue with like Firewatch, which I really enjoy, and Game of Thrones. I actually, I actually have an episode of Firewatch already recorded from, from months ago. Yeah. So when I recorded the most, the last episode of Firewatch, which is on the channel, the next day I recorded the following episode and edited it and it's ready and I didn't upload it because it doesn't have a thumbnail yet. That's the only reason. That's the only reason it's not on YouTube is because I just couldn't find the 10... I tell a lie, I'm not good at making thumbnails. Probably more like the 30 minutes, but still. The 30 minutes that it would take me to make a thumbnail. I just, I just had no time, which is complete bollocks. So, that will go up next. And then obviously back to recording. But thank you everybody who has watched this video. I mean, frankly, as I said, this is also, you know, for me. This is, this is for me, for my goals, and for my kind of reinforcing to myself. This is my promise to myself to do better and to do more. So even if no one watches it, like literally this can stay on zero views and that just, that's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Um, but to anyone who has watched it to the end, thank you very much. Really, like I appreciate it. Also, um, how did you get here? Because <laughs> one of the things that I have been very humbled by on some of my kind of reflection of YouTube is that even though, you know, in the grand scheme of things, again, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining, I don't have a huge amount of subscribers, which is fine. Like, seriously, I, I don't feel I have worked hard enough at my channel to feel hard done by, by the number of subscribers I have. I'm actually quite amazed at how many I do have for the kind of could be doing a lot more level of work but I I'm trying to find lots of smaller youtubers to watch myself because in the selfish way I didn't really think about it until I started doing YouTube you know I just watched the youtubers that I've watched for years and I started looking for new youtubers and small youtubers to help support them and help them grow and you know have a bit of a conversation and help each other out a bit and it's been really rewarding for a lot of the ones that I've spoken to you know and I think that any comments or any feedback you give people who don't have a lot of subscribers it means a lot more I guess um but finding new youtubers unless I'm just an idiot which is also very possible it's really hard to find small youtubers it's really hard to find their videos. You have to be actively looking and then still kind of luck out into finding them and finding a good representation of their channel and deciding to stay and subscribe. So to anyone who is watching this and who's made it this far, again, thank you. You're amazing. But to any of you who have, how did you find me? Like, I know that sounds really weird and accusatory, but I would be genuinely interested to know how you got here. <laughs> you know, how, how did you find my video? Seriously, I would love to know. I, you know, I know this, this video is probably gonna have no comments and, and even if it does have comments, it's almost certainly not gonna be people who've watched the entire, I don't even know how long have I even been recording. Like 20 minutes, Jesus, that's bad. I mean, it's gonna be edited, but you know, still. Um, but if anyone can tell me, if you, if you haven't known me before YouTube, because I know some people do know me, hey guys, 
um, in, you know, normal life. But to anyone who's found me through YouTube, I would love to know how you got here. Like, seriously, please tell me. It would be hilarious. I mean, maybe not, but I would still find it incredibly interesting. But yeah, so I'm going to end this video here because now I'm just rambling a lot. So <laughs> thank you, everyone, so much for watching. If you like this video or, you know, found it helpful, I have no idea. Is this video any of those things? Probably not. It doesn't fit. I'm so used to clicking into my normal kind of, thank you everybody so much for watching. But seriously, thank you everybody, anyone, anyone who watches this so much for watching. If you like this video, then please feel free to like or subscribe or favorite or comment or share or any of those wonderful things. But either way, thank you again. And I will see you in the next video. Because 2017 is going to be our year. You and me. You just watch. Bye, guys. <laughs>